Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Paul Lisnick. I'm sure you're familiar with the phrase dress for success, but have you ever kind of molded over and thought about it for a while? Because the truth is, to be successful in this life, you kind of got to look the part. My next guest will tell you how young people are finding their way down that road. Jermaine Anderson. He's the founder and executive director for I Am A Gentleman, Inc. And my goodness, Jermaine, you do look like a gentleman today with the beautiful pocket square and all that. But that's your message for young people, isn't it? Absolutely, Paul. You know, at our organization, I Am A Gentleman, we teach the young men that they should dress the way that they want to be addressed. You work with kids as young as 13, now I, up to 21. Now, I know when you're mm -hmm. 18, 19, 20, 21, let's focus for a moment there, that's about the job market, I would think. Correct. Maybe even just under that, 17, mm -hmm. 16. So what, what's the message about telling a, a young person to, to look the part when they're ready to enter the job market? Well, you know, we want young people to um, be what they can see. So what we do, we want to make sure that we model for them what a gentleman looks like. And of course, you know, everywhere we go, people say, Jermaine, what is a gentleman? What is a gentleman? So I believe, and we believe that I am a gentleman, that a, a gentleman is one who gives back, takes responsibility, and makes life better for someone else. You told me that for some of these uh, young, often at-risk youth and folks that you're dealing with, um, they wake up, they look in the mirror, they don't like what they see. They don't like what they see. So, you know, we get ridiculed because a lot of what we do focuses on image and grooming and appearance, but we've discovered that if a young man can look in the mirror and like the image or the reflection that's looking back at him, his self-esteem just goes through the roof and then we can teach him all of that other stuff. And the reality is, I think that's true. I mean, I think just even as a little kid, I can remember I put on a suit or something like that for some event, and I felt like I was just, just on top of my game mm -hmm. at that time. But, but your work doesn't end with, let's get the tie, let's get the suit on you. Your, your work goes beyond that. And once again, let's talk about the upper end of the spectrum of 16 to 21. Absolutely. So we have a program that's called Polka Dot Socks. And I know it's a funny name, but it's a program that is a male mentoring and leadership development program where the young men are in a classroom setting for 10 weeks, and we are teaching and instilling basic life skills, things like how to interact with law enforcement, what does it mean to respect a woman, how to become your own boss, the basics of banking and financing, overcoming obstacles, again, trying to get them you know, prepared for the real world and instill life skills that they would um, use outside of the classroom. Makes me wonder too when you say that, I'm thinking, aren't those conversations parents ought to be having with their kids? You wouldn't be having them if they were, so what are you finding in that realm? Absolutely, so you know, oftentimes parents have, you know, um, different struggles um, where they are not able to instill what they need to in their children, so we have partnered to come alongside parents to help, you know, pick up the slack to make sure that even though you may not get it at home, you can still get it with I Am A Gentleman. Is your work directed only with that young person, young man, or is it also with parents present and they're hearing some of the things you're saying? Absolutely. So we have just begun a parent track because we understood that, you know, working with young men can only go so far. We want to make sure that when they go back home, that they have an environment that's conducive to helping them become a gentleman. We've been talking about the 17, 18, 19, 21 year olds. Let's go back to 13, 14, 15. They're not quite ready for the job world yet, so talk to me about the value of I am a gentleman in their life. You know, life skills are, you know, um, have no age boundaries. So, you know, you still need those basic life skills if you're 13, 12, 11, 10. Again, knowing, you know, what does it mean to operate in the real world? You know, what does it mean to give back to someone? What does it mean to make someone else's life better? You know, any age can really adapt to that teaching. Do you find that if, now you've been doing this for about two and a half years? Correct. Do you find that if you meet somebody in their early teens, that 13, 14 year old, that it, is it better to get to them then because they're, they're more impressionable as they get into those older ages? Or does that matter? Can you, you accomplish your success whether you're 13 or whether you're 19? Yeah, you know, many studies show that it's really, um, good to get to them as early as second grade. Now we're not there yet, but the earlier that we can get to them, the better. And it's amazing because so many of the young men that come to us, they really don't want to be there. You know, mom sent them, grandma sent them, but it's amazing to see the transformation in their life over the course of 10 short weeks. And you've just, you've addressed the most critical thing. How do people find you? How do you find them? Word of mouth. You know, um, we have many media partners and many, um, um, social media outlets and you know our young men are known for wearing pink neckties so we have young men run up to us in the community hey are you are, are you the man with the pink necktie or are you the ones with the pink neckties how can I be, get one of those pink neckties now they don't know you know what it means to get a pink necktie but they come to our program we put that tie on them and their life has changed forever I noticing you're wearing a red necktie I know I know don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> what's the website so people can check you out as well www.iamagentleman.org all right. I know you've got important partners to get you through this. Thanks for the work you're doing. No, thank you for you know, being a partner. People, people look good on the air. All right. Thanks so much for your work. Thank you. Jermaine Anderson, founder and executive director of I Am a Gentleman, Inc. Thanks for watching.